Hey guys, it's Joe B, and I'm putting together a video on how to play Pacific Theater of Operations for the Super Nintendo or on emulator. Uh, this is a Koei game. I think it came out about 92. I spent a lot of time playing this game. I love it. This is probably one of the best simulations of the Pacific campaign, specifically regarding the ships that were involved between the Allies and Japan. Let's see here. I'm going to start a new game. We're going to we're going to try to keep this as short as possible, but this is a very detailed game. So that's why I want to give you instruction on how to play it because once you get into it, it's so good. I'll start at the very beginning. These are all the scenarios you can skip forward in time periods and they'll set you up. But I'm going to start at the beginning on November 1st, 1941. It's going to be just me. Uh, wait time, we're going to keep it short. We'll keep it to one. And just for time constraints, we're not going to view any battle animations. When the fleets that I have deployed that I don't directly control fight, I'm not going to view those either. And if bases are attacked or bases become involved, I'm not going to view those. I'll go with the allies just for familiarity and we'll keep it very easy. We'll just do zero, the very easiest difficulty. And yes, I'm ready. Then they talk about the actual situation of how you're getting started. They're talking about the negotiations breakdown between Japan and the allies, which is what sparked them to send their ships and ultimately attack Pearl Harbor on December 7th. So we're going to skip that. It then says, hey, your ultimate goal is to occupy all 45 bases or single enemy ships. There was a one case where Japan had had a ship in reserve that they had never assigned to a fleet and I couldn't win that way because the ship wasn't destroyed, but you probably won't come across that. So the first thing the game's going to do is they'll start you by setting up your budget. Now since I played it on super easy to give me a thousand to disperse, in harder difficulties that number goes down. I think the next level down they give you a hundred and the next level down they give you ten. And what you have to do is increase these over time by meeting with the army and saying, hey, I want to spend money on this or I want to spend money on that. But just for time and to keep it easy, we got a thousand, so we're going to up all these. Electronics has to do with your radar, aviation has to do with your planes, engine has to do with how fast your ships can move once you fix them up, the engine speeds, knots. Steel has to do with ship armor. Artillery has to do with your ship ballistics when you're firing your artillery from your ships. And info has to do with your special forces about how you can get information on the enemy when you send in your special units to spy, etc. In industry, it starts at 10,000 and it maxes 30,000. The higher your industry, the more ships you can fix in a given time period. I like to schedule just one month. How many ships can I fix in one month so that they come back right away? Because you need them. If you play allies, you've got to get your ships out there because Japan has a huge fleet all ready to start. Uh, the max build time is going to be three months. Materials is just iron, wood, etc. It's just a generic term for the stuff that's used to fix bases or fix ships. And fuel is literally diesel fuel. We're talking oil in order to run your bases and ships. So I'm ready. Let's go. This is the abilities for all of your officers. The sea is how well they do in, on the water, ship to ship. Air is how well they do when they've got airplanes. War, as far as I've seen, is how well they do when they meet with the army in negotiations. And bravery, I believe, has to do with uh, controlling your ships and making sure that they go where you want them to go. So, it's nice to have one guy who's high in sea, there you go. One guy who's high in air. One guy who's high in war. Uh, bravery, I'll take it, just, just to have a... You need an officer or two that have a high ability in something. Uh, war, we'll stick with 48. Don't spend too much time here. You can really get caught up on these scores and then it, it just becomes tedious and you're not actually playing the game. But I do need one guy who's high in war and one guy who's high in air so that I can send the guy in war to meet with the army and the guy in air is for air battle when I have a fleet that has a lot of aircraft carriers on it and I want to have a lot of damage with my planes. Sometimes I'll just skip right through this and take whoever's got the best score, but right now I want to... Oh, that was a 51. I should take the 51. Uh, we'll take the 45 there. And you know what? We'll just skip through. Oh, there we go. Air's 80. That's nice. Come on. Give me a, there's a high war score. 56. That's good. Okay. Those scores will do just fine. So starting the game, the next thing they're going to do is have a meeting where we start to set our objectives for the period. Fleet commander. Yep. The Army Forces is requested in the military. Okay, so let's talk. Who you're going to send? Choose the guy with the highest war skill. Let's see. 56 seems to be my highest, so I'm going to send my 56. The guy who has the highest war skill will have the best negotiation opportunities when you're trying to tell them what you want to do. So I'm going to give it a shot. They're saying, hey, you tell us what bases you want to take over, and we'll decide whether or not 
we agree with you. To keep it simple, I like to choose bases that are closest to us. Hawaii is our main base, so I'm going to want to take Marshall, the Marshall Islands. A truck would be another great strategic place to stop, for me, anyway, the way that I like to play. Because I like to take all the bases in sequence, I don't like to leave any empty spaces for the opposing ships to stop. Let's see. Come on, is there a base, an opposing enemy base around here somewhere that would be a good target? Sam can. What we're going to see when we start the game is Japan is going to start sending their fleets and they're going to go hard. They're going to start attacking and taking these bases. So here we go. Attack these three. They disagree. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to make a proposal. I'm going to see what they got to say. It's usually always targets that you don't want to do. Yeah, Shanghai. I don't want to go all the way into there. Uh, I might be able to take Taipei. We'll just say yes to number one. So they want us to attack Shanghai and take it, and then weaken the other two. It's probably not going to happen, but whatever. As long as I get the army out of my hair, I want to start the game here. Okay, so you have, I think, about five different fleets right now. This is just one ship here. Let's check it out. Uh, info. Show fleet. So these are my fleets. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. The one that I'm currently at is the Saratoga. This is whether or not you're going to show them on the map. I need to actually see what ships I've got in here. This is the base info. I pressed B to see the base info. Obviously, Los Angeles is an extremely strong base. The endurance is max at 99. Their armaments against defense is max at 99. They have 111 fighters, 119 bombers, 37, I believe those are scouts. And then below the 111 fighters are jet fighters. And below the bombers is rockets. And then below the 37 scouts, I believe those are long range bombers. They're 99% friendly. Uh, we'll get into the rest of that as we go along. Let's take a quick look at some of the commands here. Port supply is what I'm going to choose when I need to supply the fleet that's sitting here. Oh, here we go. This is a fleet that only has one carrier in it. Saratoga has no soldiers, but you know what? I'm going to take two soldiers with me when I go. So you'll see the 97 soldier units, battalions that are in Los Angeles, now two of them loading onto the carrier. Okay, that's cool. I'll press B. Fuel remaining. It's completely empty. See, it has 0%. I want it to be 100%. Number 4 fleet is going to get 6,000 barrels of fuel. Okay, it's going to take one day. Sounds good. Now I'm going to cancel out. Resupply. Yes. So Saratoga, fleet number 4 in Los Angeles, that's what it's doing. Fleet 5, just arrived at Singapore. Okay, you see that in the lower left. I see 6 and 7 are out there. Alright. Battleship. It says BB, that's Battleship, Prince of Wales. It is in Singapore. It's got 45%, so it's about half fuel, which is, looks like 20,000 barrels is going to be half fuel. It's got a max speed of 20 knots. Your fleets will move as fast as your slowest ship. Always keep that in mind. The fleet, let's see here. Yeah, the fleet itself has 23 men on all of the ships. It's got two transports and four freighters carrying units with it. Transports carry men, freighters carry fuel. So what we'll do is, now we're here, let's just supply. We're gonna fill it up. Ooh, we got a lot of stuff here. So the Prince, uh, I've got three destroyers, Express, Electro, and Tanitos. Two battleships, what else is here? Oh, it's got four destroyers, the Vampire. Okay, cool. Let's skip ahead. Transport. Wow, 10 and 10. I don't want to lose those soldiers. Um, we'll take them with us. Let's max out. So 45, we're going to take all the fuel that Singapore even has left, and it's only going to take us up 7%. It'll take one day. Sure, resupply it. This is Hawaii. This is our main base. This is our number one fleet. Allies number one fleet. What I'm going to do is, now that I'm here, I'm going to order a fleet. I want fleet two. Not yet. Um, how many guys we got here? I'm going to rearrange some fleets here. So I'm going to order a range. Formation at port, yes. I'm going to... 
discharge number two. Yeah. So we're going to take all of the ships out of fleet number two. And we have taken all of those and put them in reserve. Because I, I'm just not, I don't like how it looks here. They always start you off with weird fleet organizations. Like Lexington, I'm not going to send one carrier with just three cruisers and a destroyer. That carrier's going to get destroyed. If you're going to send a carrier fleet, it's going to be like two or three carriers and then a bunch of good defense. So let's see. Order. Arrange. Formation at port. The only fleet that you cannot discharge completely is number one fleet because that's you. So what I'll do is I'll split off from Pennsylvania to fleet number two. Look at all these battleships. You don't need these battleships to be sitting around in here. Um, no, we'll keep the Pennsylvania. We'll keep it in, in there. But the rest of these ships, we're all going to put them into number two fleet. And we're going to get rid of these transport ships too. I believe transports and freighters are capped at 20 knots, if I'm not mistaken. Number one's fleet commander at this point is probably going to be... Just this guy. Doesn't matter. Number two? Doesn't matter. Uh, number one flagship, Pennsylvania. It's the only one there. Number two? Nevada. There you go. Okay. So now that I've split those ships off, I'm going to arrange and I'm going to discharge all those ships. And I'll show you why in just a second here. So we'll get all these ships sorted out. I'm actually playing... I'm playing the game like I actually would be playing the game. Be showing you a little bit more, but I'm just trying to get things squared away first. Formation at port. Do we have anyone else in port? No. Okay. So, order fleet. Saratoga's in Los Angeles fueling. Prince of Wales just stopped in Singapore. Six. The derider is at sea. Right now they're at 18 knots. They got a max of 35. You don't directly control fleets that are doing this, that are out there. So, you set them up as best you can. And then you send them on their way. The, the fleet's morale is 30, and they have one point of fatigue right now, so they're doing just fine. I'm going to give them a new duty. Right now they're going to Jakarta. We're going to change their mission. I'm going to send them to... Let's see, where can we go that has a lot of... The Jarmusen. Yeah. Let's send them there. So we've redirected their target. And let's see, two. The Australia... Okay, the Australia we're also going to change. It's going to go... We've got a duty for this one. Mission change. It's going to Port Moresby, but I'm going to change it. We need to get these ships together so that we can consolidate and make this into a stronger fleet. These are the only ships that are actually out there. I know there's good fleet in Benjamin, so I'm going to send the Australia there. Let's see, let's see. Uh, order fleet. Are there any other fleets out there that I need to move? Prince of Wales fatigued, the writer's moving, Australia's moving. Okay, Saratoga's in Los Angeles, we're going to send them real soon. So with that done, the other thing we got to do is, let's see, put them together. Some new fleets need to be created. We're going to arrange, and we're going to have a new fleet, fleet number two. We're going to recreate it now. I'm going to fix those two carriers. I'll fix... Let's see, which battleships are fastest? More importantly, which battleships are slowest? Actually, we don't have a lot of battleships here. We can fix these cruisers up pretty well. With the high industry that this game has on easy mode, you can turn those cruisers basically into battleships. So we'll fix up a couple of cruisers. One, two, three, four. What else you got? Destroyers? Let's fix some of those too. What are their speeds? Oh, they got fast speeds. How about I fix up two battleships? Two, uh, let's do four. We'll fix four battleships and four cruisers. That's fine. Troops, uh, oh, we're not doing the fix right now. We're creating the, we're creating the fleet. Order, arrange, formation of four, new. There we go, fleet two, create, there we go. This is gonna be our new fleet. Fastest ships, 28 knots on the speed. Can carry three troops, cool. 
26 knots on the speed, that sounds great. So that's two battleships, and then we'll go one, two, three, four cruisers. Those destroyers, their armor, their fortification is only six. I don't want to send them out. The cruisers are, have low fortification too. No, let's throw a couple more cruisers in there. Troop transports? No, nah, we don't need those. Freighters? No, why would they slow me down? Implement? Heck yeah. Who's going to be in charge? Uh, this guy, 46 on the sea. That's fine. And Arizona is going to be the lead ship? Sure. Order, arrange, who have you got? Who else can we put together? New fleet. Fleet 3. Let's go with one, two battleships, and four cruisers. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's fine. Troops? No. Freighters? No. Troop transports are going to be if I wanted to carry all those troops with me when I'm attacking a base, I want to dump them on the island. And freighters are if I need to carry more fuel so that I can go farther distances. But I generally don't carry either of those with me because they slow my ships down. So there we go. Who else? Uh, Richard Nelson, sure. Okay. And California's going to be that one. Now let's see what we got here. Port. Supply. We need to fuel these guys up. So Arizona's full there. I don't think we can put planes. Yeah, we can't put planes on battleships. And those guys are full, so fill it up. And then the California fleet, they, they're they full of men too. Oh, here we go. Let's get some battalions onto those cruisers. Fill those up. There we go. And 100%. All right, those two fleets are going to fuel. Resupply, yes. It cost me a turn to do that. The Saratoga's still in LA, so we're gonna move it. It's gonna be... Depart. That's how you send the fleet out. Other, Saratoga. What's it gonna do? It's going somewhere. It's going to Hawaii, because I want to link it up with the new fleet there. So get it on its way. There you go. Get going, dispatch, yes. And now you'll see it. Number four is gonna pull away from Los Angeles. See him moving? It's one carrier. Hong Kong is being attacked, okay. Hanoi is being attacked. Those are local bases nearby that are shooting artillery, they're sending planes and stuff. We're not viewing the battles there. Prince of Wales is ready to go, so we're going to send the Prince out. Depart, other fleet, Fleet 5. I want them to meet up in Benjarmison. I want all these ships there. That's where they're going to join together and they're going to fuel up. Pennsylvania is resupplying the fleets that are behind it. So we still have a lot to do though. Um, this this one here, the conference is only avail available to the first fleet. Set goals is if you want to change your goals. Produce arms is if you want to ask the army if you can build stuff. Okay, internal is going to be if you wanted to increase your industry by spending money, but you have to get the army to agree. Propaganda is if you want to spend money to make another country more favorable to you. When they get favorable enough, then you can get them to become your ally, which is going to help for war support. That's going to take a turn if you want to do that. Uh, diplomacy is if you want to ask the army for building stuff, building bombers, building fighters, or building rockets. You're going to use this one a lot. This is also if you want to ask another country to be an ally. Base policy is going to set, I think, minimum requirements or standards that you want a base to have. Uh, race skill is if you want to increase, let's see here, what is this? Increase the skills of one of your guys. I'm not really interested in doing that. Can I reset that? Intelligence, engines, planes. Yeah, this is if you want to spend money to increase, but we're already at 99 on everything. So anyway, in this case, they're going to ask you if how much you want to spend. 100, they'll usually take it. 200, 300, 400, starts to get more difficult. So you want a guy who can do that. Watch, if I say 1,000, they're going to say no way. They disagree because it's too high. It's, it's a challenge to get them to agree with you on that. Let's see if I can load the game to go back to where we were. Okay. And special forces if you want to send spies to another base. I don't use that one too often. 
So, one thing that I'm also going to do is port... I want to do a... I want to do a base supply. Can I do that? Oh, you know what? We need to do a total repair. Let's do that too. Total repair. And this is where you send your ships out to be repaired. I'm hoping I can do a lot of them. I want to, I want to fix everything I've got. Ten more ships. So because our skills are so high, you can really go high on, the, on these max outs. See how it says time required one month? Let's see how many ships we can fix in one month. Get your aircraft carriers all maxed out. There we go. The loads are 80. 80 is the max there. Speed. What's going to be the speed? Probably as fast as the aircraft carriers can go, to be honest. You want everything to match. What's the point of having your battleships go faster than your aircraft carriers if the aircraft, if your fleets move as fast as your slowest ship? Here we go. Anti-air is going to be high there. The Anti-ship, I want those to be high. See the difference? It's a balance. So the more you spend on ship, the less you can spend on air. And vice versa. So Nevada's going to be strong against planes, but a little weaker against ships. And it's fine. Maximum troops, four. That sounds cool. Let's do that. Keep going. Okay. Speed on the cruisers. Wow, they can go really fast. But we'll keep it to 39. Here's another thing. The faster your ships move, the faster they're going to burn fuel. If you go slower, just like in a car. If you go slower... Oh, you know what? The cruisers can be fine with that. That's max. Yeah, that's the max. 11, 11. If you go slower, you'll burn fuel slower. Okay, destroyers cannot carry units. There's no battalions on destroyers. 36, 37, 38, 39. There we go. We're still under one month for these repairs. That's because the industry is completely maximum. They can fix so much stuff. 7? No. I want destroyers to be more targeted toward submarines. So we're going to max out that ability. So we'll just go 14-14. The cruisers are going to handle the air. Even with all that fixed, the destroyers can still go faster. Let's double check to make sure the cruisers can't go faster too, because they might. 39? Okay. So that's it. We're going to fix all these this, this much. Go for it? Yes. One month from now, those ships are going to come back with those stats. They're going to be fixed up. Ships are moving still. Let me save the game here. I'm going to save my state just so we don't lose our spot. Pennsylvania, what are we doing? I also want to do base resupply. So let me figure this out here. This is going to be... Is that base policy? Let me see what this does. It's been a, a, a minute since I remembered this. Okay. Base policy is what you do to supply your bases. So, you need to set this in the beginning, and I'll show you what we're talking about. So Chunking, where is it? There we go. Please give us the Navy's base policy. Oh, I'm asking, okay. I'm asking soldiers, I'm asking the army what I want to do. Um, give me soldiers. Their agreement? Sure. That's not what I wanted to do, but that's nice to know. There it is. Reports they implemented the policy, they added four soldiers, residence level friendliness. Okay, because we recruited men, we, they became 10 minus 10 for unhappiness. So we're not going to do that. Let's load the game. I want to show you this. Where is the resupply of all the bases? Let me find that. Order base. There it is. This is where you can go through all your bases and tell them what you want them to do. Supply. This is going to take you a little while, but you need to do this right away. You need to dump as much materials and fuel into every base as you can. I would also really reduce the soldiers in most cases. So there's 155 battalions in Chongqing. Why is it so high? How about we just go 30? Good. Fighters? They need a few, right? So let's do fighter, 10 fighters, 10 bombers couple of scouts. I don't have any jet fighters to send to that base. Troop transports. 
I don't know, two, one, it doesn't matter. Execute resupply, yeah. Okay, it'll take 37 days for them to bring those up to the stats that I wanted. But that's fine, I want them to start working on that right now. So I'm gonna go through the rest of these and, and supply them all up. You need all this fuel to be here because if you have a fleet stop in one of these bases, you want that you want the, the the fuel and materials to be there for the fleet to use. Hanoi is gonna need this stuff because Hanoi is on the ocean. Let's see, Hong Kong is also on the ocean. So supply. Get that fuel out there so your ships can use it when they show up. Give me 20 units in Hong Kong because it's a it's a big base. 20 fighters for defense, a couple of scouts so they know what's going on. Troop transports, fine, fine, good. Okay, what else we got? Bangkok, China? No, Bangkok, Thailand. Fuel, there's nothing there. Get the fuel out there. Materials, rock and roll. 10 battalions, yeah. Fighters, torpedo bombers, why so high? Give me 30. Scouts, give me two. Bangkok, 20 fighters is good. There we go. Troop transports, give me two. There we go. Okay, what else we got? Uh, Manila, it's right, it's centralized. It's in the Philippines. It's a place where we want a lot of fuel to be available for our, our ships. Soldiers, 44. Let's knock it down. Let's go 30. Fighter planes, I want it to be high. 30, bombers, 51, sure, good, good, okay. Troop transport's fine, execute. What else we got, Midway. Midway is a place where I'm gonna want a lot of fuel because our ships are gonna stop there. Soldiers, 10, there we go. Fighters, that is a lot of fighters. How about we just go 20? Torpedoes, 20. Scouts, good. Troop transports is fine. Freighters, I'm going to want a lot of freighters there because I'm going to want to ship a lot of fuel to Midway. It only takes 12 days because it's close to main base. Fall and poor, supply, okay. Max fuel, again, max materials. That's what the base uses to fix itself when it's attacked. So we need them to have the supplies on hand. Uh, 30 fighters, it's fine. 30 bombers, it's fine. Scouts, fine. Troops, whatever, leave those there, okay. 40 days because it's far. It's far from Hawaii. Singapore is another good strategic base. The Prince of Wales just stopped there and took all the fuel. That's why it only had 357. Max out your materials. Fighter planes. Let's go 30. Torpedo bombers. 30. Scouts. The more scout planes they have, the more a base is going to be able to relay to you when they see a fleet nearby. So let's do that. Okay, if you guys need to fast forward on this, totally fast forward. I'm just going through the bases because you can tell these bases to supply all with one command, all at the same time. So I'm obviously going to go through everything and get them all set up so that the deploys are happening for every base with one command from Hawaii. Right, well, let's see, supply, max, materials, max. You can see a trend here. I want there to be enough battalions on the ground to defend when they get attacked. I want there to be enough scouts for them to see what's going on. And in places where our guys could stop for fuel, I want them to have enough freighters so that I can ship the fuel there. Guam. Guam is a, another place that's centralized where you want to have a lot of freighters so that you can ship the fuel there for when your ships stop by. Whoops. When your ships stop by, you're going to want them to be able to fuel up. There we go. Troop transports. Three. Raiders. Ten. Definitely. Execute. They say that delivery is uncertain because they're going. the shipping is done through dangerous routes. Enemy ships could hit them and affect them there. Okay, guys, I skipped ahead a little bit, and I just resupplied all the bases. So here we go. Are you sure? Yes. Now all those bases are going to start to resupply according to the way that I wanted them to get it done. Fleet 6 is arriving in Ben uh, Let's see here. Info. Data. Real quick here. Port. If I wanted to put my fleets on shore leave to reduce their fatigue and increase the morale, that would work there. 
Uh, red alert, uh, I don't know, uh, lay mines if you want to spend materials to put mines around your port. So when your port is attacked, those ships can run into those mines and get beat up. Remove mines, self-explanatory. Show mines if you want to see what you currently got deployed. Rest is if I want to rest this unit, what, one day? The amount of time it takes to resupply, rest for the repair, or just you want to set the time. Fix, we've already been through that. Urgent repair is to spend materials that are local to your port to fix those ships up. You normally use this if a ship is damaged so much that it's got like one or two knots and it can't go anywhere. That's when you probably use an urgent repair. Total repair is when you send them out based on the industry. Modifies if you want to fix them up to add stuff or change them or change the stats. Build is if you want to spend materials and industry to actually construct a new warship, which is pretty cool. They already have the names predefined for you when they build it, it pops up with a new name. Modify is if you want to change a car carrier around to be able to carry, uh, what is it, fighters, bombers, jet fighters, switch those up. Rockets, you can actually change an aircraft carrier to be able to hold rockets and shoot those rockets. It's not something I do, but it's possible, which is nice. Uh, order, my fleet, you know, bases to redeploy, arrange the change around your fleets, including your first one. Scuttles if you want to get rid of a ship. You might do that if you have a ship in your fleet that's dead in the water. None of your fleet can move, so you might have to kill that ship and sink it so you can move. Let's see, info. Radio ban, uh, I think that's if you want to go all dark, all quiet, so nobody picks up your location. Enemy info, special forces, you guys can check those out on your own. Results, report, show fleets, don't need to worry about those. Data, this is just if you want to see data of your nation, officers, what allies you have, ships, stuff like that. This is showing right now that Germany and Italy are my enemies, and then I'm allied with England, France, Holland. China's already 70% support, so if you try, the army will probably agree to sign on China as an ally. And then you have a few extras that are still kind of behind. You can use propaganda in order to get those guys happier for you. But you can take it with that on your own. Let's see, what am I going to work on here? Produce arms? I do need to produce arms, so let's try that. I'm going to send a guy who's good at warboard. That's going to be John Dixon. And what I need from John Dixon is I need to build freighters, because I used them all up in my resupply. So freighters. How many do I want to build? Oh shoot, I need 300 freighters. Come on. There we go. And I went from 0 to 300 freighters. Cool there. So that's pretty much it. The fleets are all arriving in Van Jarmusen. I'm going to link those all together. The Prince of Wales is on its way. The Australia is on its way. Since he's here, I'm going to supply him. So while he's waiting, he's going to fuel up. There we go. It'll take one day. Pennsylvania is still doing its thing over here. Uh, let's see. Do I need to produce any arms? Do I need to do anything internal? Diplomacy? What is the internal? Let's see here. Propaganda? Industry? Industry is already maxed out. How about we'll do a diplomacy just so you can see it. I'm going to send a warboard guy, John Dixon, we're going to meet with the army. I need delicate invitation is how you improve their support for you. So let's do that with China. The army approves it, which is cool. And now it's going to tell me whether it was successful, which they usually are. Okay, fleet five, coming in. And I'm going to save my game real quick here. Prince of Wales is all fueled up. No, it's not. How about we go to, this is Ben Jarmusen, order, arrange, formation of port, join. Five and six together. Go. Pull that little guy right into there. Sea and air. Let's go with the uh, potter. It's fine. Still the Prince of Wales. Okay. And we're waiting for the Australia to get here, so we are going to supply this fleet. Actually, hold on a second. Hold on a second here. 
I want to reorganize here. Order, arrange. I want to get rid of these transports and these freighters. They're going to slow me down and they're probably going to get blown up. Now I'm going to resupply it. I would only bring freighters on a giant fleet that I needed to go long range. There we go. Pennsylvania is ready to go. Um, fix? No, we're good there. Conference. Let's see what special forces can do for us. Let's investigate this one. Let's send our John Dixon Warboard guy and see what special forces we can send. These are the enemy locations. Let's send them to... Well, what's my first target? Marshall Islands. Send agents to Marshall. Yes. Okay, Army said yes. Now we're going to have special forces that can let us know what's going on at Marshall. Prince of Wales, still waiting. Rest one day. Pennsylvania, we can lay a mine, let's do that. If somebody comes to Hawaii, they're gonna run into this. Boom. All right, Allied 7 Fleet is finally arriving. And you can be darn sure that the enemy ships are on their way, so they're going to be attacking real soon. Let's join these two fleets together. So order, arrange, at port, join. You can do it at sea. If you tell the two fleets to meet at the very same point in the sea, you can join them together, which is pretty cool. Or if one ship gets all beat up and it's going three knots, you can split it off and then send that the broken ship home while the other ones go and keep fighting. Alright, now that we've got one big fleet here, we're going to resupply it again. Load up on a couple of men, there we go. Fuel up, okay. That fleet's going to be ready to go. Here's something I forgot to do. Let's get our fleets out of here. We've got two fleets that are fueled up and ready to go. Arizona, Fort Cole. How far can he go? Uh, I guess we'll stop here. And the California, that's Port Call. We gotta get these fleets out of here so that they can start getting ready to defend. I'm not gonna attack Marshall yet. I'm not gonna attack Truck yet. Okay, so they're both gonna stop here. Um, yeah, that's fine. Send them out. And now you'll see the two fleets moving. There they go. Two and three are on their way. Hancock's being shelled. Okay. Now I know that there's going to be a battle somewhere, and I know it's not where Prince of Wales is, so I'm going to say attack enemy fleet. And I'm not sure where those enemies are going to show up, but I got a feeling it's going to be... Manila. So I'm going to send them to Manila and say attack enemy fleet right out here. Okay. Conference. Every day we do something new here. Set goals. Produce arms. What kind of arms do we need to produce? Let's go check it out. Data. Nation. Morales 40. Industry. Budget. Um, we need scouts. Scout planes, we need those. Let's see, conference. How about diplomacy? Oh, negotiation progress. The delegate, the China delegate. Gotcha. Okay. How about produce arms? Now, if you ask for them to produce too much and they're not in agreement, they're going to say no. Let's see what we can ask the army about. I want scouts. Oh, give me 90. They'll say yes to that. It's a small number. Okay, cool. So 
So every day you get to make a decision. Alright, three, four is coming into Horai. That's the Saratoga. We got two and three on their way out. I'm gonna save game position real quick here. We still have 19 days before those ships come back that are repaired. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rest for let's say five days. Just so that you can see some of these fleets in action. The Prince of Wales is number five, they're moving up to Manila. China's delegate is approved. Armament request? Yes. We gave them eight bombers, they got eight happier. So now the French is 78. Armament from Australia? Yes. French ship plus ten, cool, we gave them bombers. Armament from Switzerland? Yeah, okay. They're happier, that's cool. What else we got here? Armament from USSR? Yeah. Giving away our bombers, and that's okay, we got a lot of money. Compensation demanded by civilians at Chungking? Sure. It reduces the endurance a little bit, but their happiness goes up. Two and three are on their way to Wake, five is on their way to Manila. I'm really waiting. Any second now, there's going to be reports about attacks. Two, three, and five. We're waiting five days. Is there a way to interrupt the rest? I don't think so. So my Fleet 1 and Fleet 4 are just sitting in Hawaii, and that's okay. 5 is waiting. 2 and 3 are on their way. Now this is the part where it can be a little tedious, you know, you're in anticipation, you're waiting for your fleets to get there. I see that the Pennsylvania is not resupplied. So, what I'll do is resupply the Pennsylvania, because I'm going to be using that ship, so I want to give it some fuel. There we go, 100%. And we might as well fuel up the Saratoga while we're here. Fighters, 30. No, I want to decrease the number of fighters. I want full bomber squadron on the Saratoga. Scouts? Ah, shoot. We do need some scouts, because we do need to be able to find out who is where. Fuel that, fuel that carrier up. There we go. Okay, still watching. Fleet 2 is about to meet up at Wake. There you go, our fleet is arriving. Which is really neat in that you can order a fleet to do something and then you just kind of wait for them to carry it out. Hong Kong's shelled. Okay, Bangkok shelled. Where are the enemy fleets? We're going to rest one day here. We're waiting for that second fleet to come in. Pennsylvania, let's just rest one day. I don't want to waste too much time here. There it is. Fleet 3 is here too. I've got the idea to s combine fleets 2 and 3 together. I originally was planning on using fleets 2 and 3 to defend against enemy attack, but here's what we'll do. Order, arrange, at port, join, 2 and 3. There we go. We're now going to combine these together to make a really huge fleet. Sea and air, fine. Arizona is now one giant fleet, 69%. And here we go. Port, depart, other fleet, fleet two, it's the only one that's there. We're gonna attack an enemy base. I'm sending him to try and take Marshall. Okay. Almost to Marshall right now. And I wanted you to see what happens when a fleet engages a target. So fleet two begins to attack Marshall. Look, they're destroying the planes, they've killed their fuel levels, their battery installation just went down by 8 points. When you see the battlefield, there will be a couple of battery defenses. For every 10 points of endurance they have, they're going to have a battery. They're destroying planes by shooting airfields, the fire is still zero, they killed one of the battery installations, there we go. It's showing me stats, California didn't take much damage at all, our ships are in really good shape, but they're doing a lot of damage to Marshall. Now our ships have also dumped a lot of their battalions on the ground. So the Marshall launch, the landing force is going to attack and they just took Marshall. So there we go. We just captured one of the 45 bases. I wanted to show you that really quick so that you can see what it's like when you take one over. You just order your fleet to do it and as long as they're strong enough, they got the units on the ships and the resources to do it, then they can do that. Now just because they took it doesn't mean that they're ready to finish. There's, you're going to have to order your fleet after that. 
see Arizona is still ordered to attack, so I've got to change their duty. Mission change. I'm going to have them land at Marshall now. Otherwise, they'll just keep sitting there trying to take a base that they've already taken. So they're good there. Uh, the other thing I want to show you is... Arizona received those reports. If you need to double check it, you go here to report. And you can see where those transports were. It'll show you the exact location. If you want to, you can see attack fleet and you send them up to one of those locations. And they'll, if they run into those ships, they'll fight them. That's how you can go fleet to fleet without actually being in charge of that fleet. I'm going to rest for another couple of days. Let's see. One, two. I'm going to rest for three days just to try and speed this up. Okay, guys. Here we go at the end of the month. So it looks like we got a ton of fuel. A ton of stuff goes to the home port. Uh, we got 3,300 in budget, and all of the warships and carriers are back from repair. Technology update. I wanted to tell you really quick. Even if you if you play the game on super easy, you have to do one investment in any technology for you to, to develop the technologies. The, the long-range bomber, the rockets, the radar, the advanced warship. You just have to invest in technology one time in order to get the game to realize that you've got 99 in everything. Just a quick FYI on that one. Okay, so now that I got all my ships back, I'm going to go order, arrange, formation, new. I'm going to create the fleet that has everything I want. So give me all these nice carriers. Give me, uh, give me a battleship. Give me some cruisers. Give me these destroyers. There we go. Troops? Um, no, don't need them. Freighters? Nope, don't need them. And then put any guy in charge. It doesn't matter. Enterprise, Lexington. There we go. Okay, now, order, arrange, formation, join. Pennsylvania with the Enterprise 3. Give me all this good stuff. It is my personal rule to never let the computer control the carriers. I always keep the carriers to myself because, well, we're human players and we're better at it. But it's plain and simple. So now that I've got a giant fleet with lots of good stuff, I'm going to supply that fleet. Pennsylvania's going to take on. We're going to take on lots of battalions. You need to get battalions so that you can attack islands, drop those battalions, and take those islands over. Fighters, don't need them. Bombers, give me all the bombers. There we go. Scouts, what are we doing with scouts? Um, I think we've got radar now. Don't we have radar? I don't know. But it doesn't matter. Let's just load up. Okay. Fighters, bombers. Um, these guys have scouts. If that's true, then we don't need scouts on our carriers. I want full bomber squadrons. Moving planes takes a lot of time. There we go. Okay. Load three. Scout three. Load three. Scout three. Give me 11 scout planes per cruiser. If they can hold them, I want them to use them. And then soldiers. Still on three days for the supply here. 100%. Five days for this thing to be fueled up and ready to go. Fleet 1. Okay. Um, I deployed Fleet 5 to go to Guam because I heard that enemy Fleet 12 was there. Fleet 2 is currently on shore leave. I was letting rest down. Fleet 5 is picking up enemy transports. Okay, guys. Here's the final step. We're going to go port. Depart. Number 1 fleet. Oh, yeah. This is where you send your fleet out. And when you're on the water, you make an order every four hours. So tactical, we want to move. 24 knots, heck yeah. And this is the direction I want to go. It's going to take me 14 hours to travel there. My fleet too is finding four battleships, four cruisers, and four destroyers just west of Marshall. So I sent Fleet 2 to go attack. Let's see, I cannot do any stuff where I meet with the army or any countries or any of that. I, I can't do industry, I can't do any production while I'm out of port. Uh, intelligence. This is if I want to deploy my fighters as an escort for me. So my fighters will fly along with me in case I get attacked by an air. This is if I want to rest and just travel. Tactical. This is if I want to make an air attack in a region. This is if I want to fire on a region. This is if I want to uh, attack a base landing. 
This is a rocket attack. I don't have rockets right now. So if I want to order my other fleets or my bases to do stuff, I can still make those orders, which is very cool. Information on enemy bands, special forces, uh, data is the same, miscellaneous. This is if I want to change my setup. Um, training is going to increase my I believe, fatigue. Banquet is going to increase my morale and reduce my fatigue. Let's do one of those. How long does it take? Ten banquets? But it takes me 14 hours to get where I'm going, so I'm not going to do that just yet. Give me a tactical. Give me movement. I want to go 24 knots in this direction. It's going to take me 21 hours? No. I want to go a little slower than that. I want to move, and I want it to take me 28 hours to get there. So let's move at 19 knots. And we're going to go this way. 28 hours. Go. Now it's going to take me 4 hours before I can make another order. So I'm going to use a banquet. Watch. Now we can watch our own fleet make that move at 19 knots. The staff are enjoying the banquet. Fleet number 2 still picking up that uh, their fleet. I sent fleet 5 to attack Yap. So let's see how they do. Saipan Air Transport Squad. Okay, we sank some stuff. That's cool. Fleet 2 is still looking for that enemy fleet, but I think they're running from it. So now this is where you have to go back in and order your fleet to move. So I gotta tell Fleet 2 to move back to the location where its most recent report came from. There's the official declaration of war from Japan. December 8th. Four battleships are still out there. I'm going to tell Fleet 2 to break off. They can't track them as well as I can. Fleet 5, that's the Prince of Wales, is attacking Yacht Base. Alright, here's what we'll do. Order Fleet 2. Check that report to see where those ships were last. It's moving toward Marshall. Alright, here's what I'm going to do. Duty, mission change, attack fleet. It was right about here. They are currently at this location, but I'm going to push it a little bit past because I think that that fleet is coming to attack Marshall. And then tactical move. I'm going to change course. We're going to speed up. We need to get there so we can start joining in this fight. A quick save of the game here, just so I don't lose you. And let's change our setup. We're going to do... We're going to set up for chase. Tactical move, 24 knots. Take me 19 hours to get there. Okay. Fleet 5, still attacking the base. Destroyed a battery installation, very cool. And, okay, as well took a little hit, but very small. Excellent exchange. If you're familiar with the game Gemfire, but they use that same little positive beat from Gemfire when you do something positive, like you recruit one of the opposing guys in defection. Okay, tactic move. No, we're not stopping, we're just changing course. I just want to make sure that we're staying on target. 15 hours, rolling. I still have so long to go. This is the problem about issuing an order every four hours, is that it just takes forever to get there rest for four hours? Yeah. Okay, where is it? 1799 and 1314. Those four battleships are still out there. The two is moving slow. Order fleet. You have to stay right on top of them. Order fleet two. Duty. Mission change, yes. 
Attack Enemy Fleet. What was it, 1799? This is the trouble about it. Uh, mission change no. What was the report again? Yeah, they're, they're running from me. They're running from me. 1799 and 1312. Okay. Order that fleet to get over there. Duty, mission change. Yes, attack fleet. 1799 and 1312. There we go. This is right where they were. I need them to fight. Okay. And then my guys, what are we gonna do? Rest for arrival? Eight hours? Yeah. And I'll just watch for eight hours to make sure and see what Fleet 2 is gonna do. Fleet 5 is beaten up on Yap base. Cool. Destroying the battalions there. We should be taking that base very soon here. Probably only another couple attacks. Okay, tactical. Move fast, 24 knots. You see, I'm moving at my slowest ship right now, which I think is the Pennsylvania at 24. But if I s split off the Pennsylvania, the other ships could move at 39 knots, which is really fast. You burn fuel really fast when you're moving that fast. So 20, 25 knots is just fine. Okay. Shooting down the Air Force, shooting down the bombers. They took the base. There we go. Fleet 5 took the base. Now we're playing this on very easy, but at a harder difficulty, they would be attacking my bases too, and I'd probably be losing some of them. First thing we're going to do is order Fleet 5 to dock at the base they just took. You always got to remember that. Mission change, port call, right where they're at. Alright. And now I'm going to see what my own guys are doing. Tactical, boom. Nope, change course. Four knots. Fast as you can. Keep rolling. Enemy warships detected. 1732, 1334. They're still out there. They're still out there. For three days or 20 days? Ah, uh, let's just send them for 10. Okay, shore leave. There we go. Send the prints out for 10 days. That'll be fine. Tactical. We're still moving. We're not stopping, we're just changing course. I really need to get there. That's Marshall Islands down there, so let's hurry up. 23 hours. Move. 17, 16, 13, 26. That is the battle I'm going to show you. I'm going to send the first fleets, planes, against them. Marshall, coming in. Fleet 1 is closing in. Fleet 2 is just not... I don't know if he's being a chicken or he has a low bravery or what, but he's not doing the job he needs to be doing. He's not attacking those four battleships. Germany and Italy have declared war. Yeah, that, that makes sense. We're going to rest these guys for the nine days that they're out. I don't want to hear from them until then. Okay. Here's where we're going to... I'm close. I'm really close. So let's check with Fleet 2's last report. They just had these guys right there where the blue number one is. Four battleships and four cruisers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my, my guys ready in Fleet 1 to go take them on. So tactical, move. 24 knots. Down here. 14 hours to get there. And now, let's see. I'm going to do a scout. We're going to send the scouts from the cruiser to region 1. We're going to send the scouts from Helena to region 2. And I'm going to send the scouts from this battleship to region 4. Those planes are going out to try and find them. they're out there. I know they're out there. Where are they?
We have to keep looking. They've got to be here. Two. Eight. Nine. Find those ships. Come on. That fleet was just here. This is where it's just so tricky. Okay. Here's what we gotta do. Where's fleet two? They got 36 fuel left? Oh, jeez. Okay. We're gonna bring them in. We got no choice. Bring everybody in. And I've only got 20% of my fuel left, so I've got to move too. I'm not sure where those those planes are or where that where that fleet went. But I, I need I need fuel. They went dark. They did a radio ban. I'm not sure where they went. Six hours to get there. Enemy transports, but that's not the fleet I was looking for. I don't know where that fleet went. Two hours to get to Marshall. Alright. And here is where I do... to literally land at the port. Stop. Gotcha. Sorry it took you so long, guys. It's been a while since I've played this. I'm a little rusty. Okay, so you can still make a an order every day. You just can't do any of the stuff that was conference because you're not in home base. So port supply, of course. Fuel up. Oh no, there's no fuel here. All right, cancel resupply. Yes, we can still fix this order. Supply and bring bring that stuff. Bring all the good stuff. I sure yes. Fighter planes, 80. Uh, bombers, 80. Scouts, 30 scout planes. Troop transports, four. Freighters is going to be big. I need a lot of freighters because I need to be able to send a lot of fuel to Marshall. Where the heck that fleet went? They're out there. Fleet 2 should be finding them. I don't know where they went. They're out there. I really want to show this to you guys, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to supply fleet 1 and then go attack the truck base. Support, supply, first fleet. We got 8,000, so at least we can get something. We need more than that, more fuel than that. 
Maybe I should go down to Guadalcanal or Port Moresby. I think I've got fuel there. This is why you need to deploy a good amount of freighters to marshal, wake, and once you take it, truck. So that you can then bring a lot of fuel there. So your ships, when they're passing through, they, they can... So when your ships are passing through, they can get their fuel that they need. Okay, tactical, move. Uh, I'm going to go at 14 knots, and we're going to go this way. 24 hours, fine. Still wondering what the heck Fleet 2 is doing. I told them to dock and marshal, and they are just down there, spacing out. Tactical, yes. 14 knots. What I'm doing now is I'm waiting for the screen to allow me to select a farther range. Let's save this game real quick here. Save slot one, okay. So tactical, no, no, yes. There it is. Now if I go at 14 knots all the way this way, 35 hours, boom. Okay, now I can go miscellaneous banquet. Banquet, yes. 24 hours, we're going to watch Fleet 1 move, hopefully Fleet 2 will dock, I don't know what's going on with Fleet 5, they, they're still attacking the base, but they haven't taken it yet. And this is just kind of how it goes. After I finish what I'm doing with Fleet 1, I'll go all the way back to main base Hawaii, fix up the ones that got broken, usually by splitting them off. halfway to truck, but I have to take truck now. I'm going to rest till arrival. 24 hours. I'm going to watch Fleet 1 move in on this. Oop, transports right on top of me. Still 20 hours to get where I was going. Those guys are going to shell each other. They're sending planes back and forth trying to beat up each other when they're within range. Davao's bombing Palau. Alright. Guam. 1370, 1102. They got one carrier. Alright. Tactical. Move. There it is. Truck base. I want to move into truck at 14 knots. It'll take me 24 hours, and I'm going to attack that base. Uh, let's see here. Tactical. Air attack. One, two, three. Bombs? Heck yeah. Attack preparation will take four hours. Launch time, 8 a.m. tomorrow. Execute? Heck yeah. You can only launch your planes for the daytime, so if you start to set up the sortie in the nighttime, as soon as that time hits, 8 a.m., your planes will be ready and they're going to fly. Hit that base before that base hits me, really. This is the cool part about having carriers, is you can send your planes out and just cause all kinds of death and destruction.
All right, so now that you've seen it, we're just going to pull away with the planes right now. I don't want to lose any more planes. But that is a base attack, just with planes. Normally you would also have like a light carrier, or one carrier that had fighters on it too. Now let's do gun attack, base. Are we close enough to hit it? Too far, okay. Alright, tactical, move. Four knots, speed, fast. Truck base, seven hours to get there. Oh, geez. Now this is trucks planes coming in to fight my fleet, and I do not have a fighter sortie, so I'm gonna show you. The cool part about it though is I've got some cruisers with me and they're gonna do some good damage. Boom. Now battleships don't hit planes very often, but when they do. They do a ton of damage. There is a cutoff. Um, I think ships that can move, I believe it's 29 knots or more, can move two spaces. If I'm not mistaken. There's a number. I don't recall it precisely, but it's something like that. But slower ones, like ones that only can move 24 knots, are only going to move one space on the battle. You'll have to keep, uh, keep track to rem remember that number, especially when you're sending ships off the industry. You want to make sure that they can move. Moving two spaces on the sea is a huge advantage. The enemy fleets are right on top of me. There's three of them. I'm going to do an air attack and see if I can send my planes out first and deal the damage to them before they deal the damage to me. 8 a.m. tomorrow, execute the airstrike. are not going to be my target, it's going to be those enemy fleets. Planes are away. Let's see if the fleet's there. And it was. Now I'm the one attacking. And they have a huge fleet. And they also have fighters. I don't know where they got those from. The goal is to drop those two carriers. Look at all these ships. Starting fires on ships is a good way to go. The best example is when you have like five, six, eight carriers all in your number one fleet and you send all of them and then you just start, you're full, you've got like 80 bombers and you just start fires on all the, the battleships, the cruisers, they're all stuck, they can't do anything about it. Out of the way, so they can start dropping bombs. I need those carriers to be destroyed so that they can't send their planes to shoot at me. The fighter's gonna keep picking off my bombers too. They're equipped with torpedoes. Torpedoes actually work on land strikes too. burning. The destroyer is burning too. Good. Transport sunk. I've got 
three turns left, let's see the little number three there, should be able to sink one carrier at least. The other carrier they're hiding. Keep firing on it. There we go. Sank the one carrier. That destroyer's on fire too. That's a good hit. Two turns left. I'm going to see if I can clear a hole and then put the other bomber right in that hole with the torpedoes and get a shot off on that carrier. here for me. There we go. Sank it. So the carriers are down. Now to just clean up anything else that I can sink. Oh, I think they're, that's it. That's their return fire. Well, good. Now they can't send their planes against me because their carrier is gone. I am going to have to defend against, I think, the base is air, though. They'll send their planes on me now. File, save, position. I'm going to do a tactical landing. Oh, I'm not even close enough. Yeah, those planes are coming, I'm sure. That's okay. I'm, i got to close in. Before I run out of fuel, pretty much. at Marshall for this guy to fuel up with. No, there isn't. It's just stuck there. No, it's not important right now. What's important is that I get that attack. Can I hit that base yet? Sure can. One, two. Now this is going to be a night landing. Only ships with radar can fire at night, but I can still get close and drop units. Guys, that's going to be just about it. We've seen the, pretty much the gist of how to do the orders, how to attack, how to defend. A landing is going to be just like this, except you're going to have the ability to hit land right here and drop your units right onto the actual land where the battalions can be. Once you drop your units, you can then flee, and then your units, your quote landing force, will attack on its own. After that, Keep attacking either by plane or by ship until their battalions, which are on the town, are completely wiped out. You can use your special forces that you have placed by agreeing with the army in that base to determine how many units they've got left. And from there, once they hit zero and your landing forces close in, that's how you take the base. Alright, this is Joe B. Hope it helped. If uh, you liked it, like and subscribe. That helped me out. And I'll see you.